Welcome to the NASCAR Hall of Fame Spark Education. Today we're discussing the laws of motion. Newton's three laws of motion are always consistent. Let's show some specific examples using our NASCAR Hall of Fame race car. The first law states, objects at rest will stay at rest and objects in motion will stay in motion unless outside forces act upon it. Notice our car sitting on pit road with the engine shut off. It will sit at rest until the engine provides power to the rear wheels. This is the outside force Newton refers to. As it races around the track, it cannot stay in motion forever because of the outside forces acting on it, gravity and friction. Earth's gravity is constantly pulling objects toward its center, which slows movement. The car's rolling friction between the tires and the racetrack and fluid friction as it travels through the air also slows the car down. If you could eliminate these two forces, our race car could stay in motion indefinitely, even after running out of fuel. Law two is an equation we can rely on to calculate the net force of an object. The equation is net force equals mass times acceleration. In the case of our race car going around the track, the car's acceleration is proportional to the force supplied by the engine and inversely proportional to the mass or weight of the car. This is why a car with more horsepower or force can accelerate faster. And this is also why a heavier car with the same horsepower cannot accelerate as fast. Finally, the third and final law states, for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. The best illustration of this is when a race car is bumped from behind by another. In racing, this is called a bump draft. The leading car reacts by accelerating, while the trailing car's momentum is lost and slows down. These are equal and opposite reactions the drivers rely on in order to win races at places like Daytona and Talladega. All three of Newton's laws of motion are constantly at work in NASCAR. Now it's your turn for a fun activity. Look outside your window at objects and people in motion. Can you identify the forces and laws at work?